Hello friends, welcome to another video from Knowledge with Tim's YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to teach you how to use Java without administrator access. So, first of all, I have to say that I struggled with this so much and I uh, searched Google. I never, I didn't found a solution, but I finally found a solution. Uh, so, this is the easiest method. Uh, so, I will keep a, a link for zip, uh, zip file called Java No Admin. Uh, in description you have to download it the, after downloading you can extract it and get the folder like this in that folder there is a uh, fold, folder called windows 64 uh, you have to go to that uh, you need a 64 bit computer and uh, after going to this you have to click on this java runtime gamma uh, folder and here here are some folders you have to click uh, you have to click this bin folder inside the bin folder there is so much files including java.exe uh, let me quickly navigate to it there is so much uh, exe files uh, here is java.exe uh, so you need if you need to run a java file uh, uh, you have to just do this right click and open in terminal then uh, this is powershell it don't normally load exe file uh, so i will load git bash you can also do this using uh, your command prompt uh, you can also do that with powershell i will first show how to do it with powershell uh, open it terminal uh, uh, right click and open it terminal is a windows 11 uh, feature and you have to type here java.exe ja, and your jar your jar your jar file uh, name and extension i made a i typed uh, your jar dot jar for example uh, if there is spaces in your file name you can you should use uh, these and uh, I get an uh, error saying unable to access jar file uajar.jar uh, that's because there is no actual file saying uajar.jar but uh, in the first time you will get an uh, error saying uh, something like this uh, powershell don't load uh, don't normally load exe files so you have to type <laughs> like this and end so uh, uh, here on the top thing I didn't got the error because I have added, added at this, uh, that as a environment variable so I will tell you how to add that as a environment variable and same goes here java.exe java and your file your java file uh, this will surely open up uh, I will I said I will say about environment variables yes there are environment two types of environment variables one is system environment variables second is uh, only you only user environment variables so you need administrator access to change system environment variables but I am teaching you without admin so I will say how to edit environment variables for your account so edit environment variables for your account here is something in control panel click on that and there is uh, some things like this you have to click on path and you new and uh, you extract the location like this click on this copy this and uh, go to environment variables window and click new paste this i have already added so i I don't want to add that again so what will it do uh, simply if you right click on this and open terminal at the first time without editing the environment variable when you type java it will not recognize uh, I this came for me because I have added it as environment variable but you java is not recognized rec recognized as cmd let or command file uh, something like that you will get but I have after changing the environment variable you can use it anywhere like this java version so it is java 17.0.3 so it is for today's video uh, thanks for watching please uh, subscribe 
comment your ideas about this video link will be in description good